Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this blooming update for the month of July. And we are starting in my uh, Orchid room. So, and I'm going to start with this one. This one is quite special, I think. Because last year it did bloom, but it only had, I think, three or four blooms. And then I decided to put it inside of the Orchid room, where it is a little bit cooler. And look what a big spike it put up this year. Such beautiful blooms. Sadly, it's a no ID, so I cannot give you the name, but it is beautiful. And a pretty similar orchids on the market with this beautiful uh, yellow and almost black. So that's the first one. And then we have the Odontoglossum Altmar, which is almost getting over now. And up here we still have the Pinocchio and another bud is on the way as you can see. So that will be in uh, bloom for quite a while still. <laughs> Probably uh, for the blooming update of August and then still in bloom. And then we have this one just opening up with these beautiful fairly big red flowers. Also a no ID sadly. And this one did take ages to finish this spike. It's very thick. It's a very thick spike, but finally it started to, uh, to bloom. I think it's a very, very beautiful uh, one as well. Down here we have a orchid from the Inca orchids. Also a beautiful one. I think I think I'm going to say that with every orchid, beautiful, <laughs> but I really like them. And then this one is also fairly special, it's a dancing lady type. And I never had them with such fairly big spikes, at least in my case, it's, I think they can even get bigger, but I never had them this big. So also this Oncidium, put it in the orchid room where it's a little bit cooler and it started spiking very, very well. Lovely blooms, very lovely blooms. So then over here, my Sturbic is about to bloom again. It's really starting to open up these blooms, the beautiful one. I think that with a dark red color, two spikes here, and I see another one coming there. So we will have uh, some spikes in the near future. And then over here we have a Nelly Eiler. Red Velvet has a fairly large spike. These take a while to bloom, but that red one we saw earlier with the big blooms did take almost double amount of time to finish a uh, spike in comparison to a Nelly Eiler. So if you are familiar with the Nelly Eiler, you know that that one really really take did take a very long time so uh, but anyhow <laughs> beautiful this is the more uh, Swiss beauty I think it is we have a lot of spike here it's going to be bigger then the Lisa delight is here still in bloom and right above it is the purple one and this one is now going over as you can see uh, especially on that spike but still i thought i can include it but it's probably the last time for this uh, this season then over here we have this beautiful red one oops there it is also a very long spike it's doing very well very nice red blooms. Then here I have a Masdevelia, the one that I did get from my last uh, visit to Landsbergen, the yellow one. It's uh, in bloom again, as we can see. So that's very nice as well. Then over here I have this Miltoniopsis in bloom, with three blooms. Very beautiful one, I think. And that's the last one for now. The rest is uh, finished blooming, as you can see. 
and it was about to be expected. So that's so far uh, here in the arc room. So let's go over, go over to the greenhouse where we have more in bloom. And we'll finish up with the Miltonias and it's a Miltonia season. So I will have quite some Miltonias in bloom, but we will uh, first cr see what we cross uh, before we get there. Apicycopsis bloom. Also, every time it's very, very beautiful. And we have the fails, of course. Always somewhere a fail in bloom here. <laughs> Let me see. This Bellina, I think, is worth a close up with her three blooms. Isn't that beautiful? Such a pretty picture, I think. Very, very beautiful. And we have ones that start to open up again. Second, second spike, not the sec yeah, secondary spike for this year. So that's good, I think. As you can see, we have still some uh, new fresh bloom on the Leodoro. Still quite some fails in, uh, in bloom. A little less than before, but still quite a few, I think. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a gap over here, but we will have new ones next time and this one is still in bloom as well so uh, those were the fails then we have a venda we didn't see for a very long time and this is a no id so i cannot give you the name for it but it's very very beautiful this is the one that has the uh, many many keikis inside of the pot i hope you can can see it's that fairly, uh, fairly big one. And this is how it blooms. Beautiful, I think. So yeah, Venda's in bloom. And here we have the white angel blooming again. It's put up quite some spice. As soon as it starts to uh, go over with the spike, it uh, puts up a new one. So that's uh, very beautiful. This one really likes to bloom. So down over here. Here we have the epidendras, epidendrums, still in bloom. Even the pink one we have here. And next to it we have the red one. We have quite a few different colors here. Then let me see, we have the yellow birds, still in bloom, beautiful. Even though some blooms it got over a bit quicker, I think these are very fresh, I'm sorry. But I think it was a little bit too warm, too much sun for those. But here you can really see that pink orange color when they start opening up and then they turn into this fairly bright yellow, which I do prefer. I like this better than how they start, but they will uh, change over time color. Colorwise, and then next to it we have for me a first time bloomer. Isn't that beautiful? It has two blooms as you can see. And look at that lip. And that orange, pink, yellowish color on the sepals and the petals. This one has a tag. Let me check it for you guys. This is BLC Golden Tang. H&R as you can see. Yeah, I really like this. And above that one, we have this golden peacock. It's working on this spike, and it's also working on this one still, but it has also opened up a few blooms. The golden peacock, always beautiful, I think. Always. And the next one is fairly similar to this one. I did a uh, spotlight on this one, but it has two new spikes. Look at that. It has a little bit more freckles. This looks like it's a bit stuck. I don't know why. Anyhow, <laughs> it's very beautiful, isn't it? But it reminds me a little bit of the golden peacock we just saw. It has, like I said, a little bit more freckles and, and dots everywhere. This is the second spike. So those are very beautiful, I think. So let's get over this area and look at this one. Look at those three 
very very large spikes isn't it beautiful it's almost like it's it's giving a light in in dark <laughs> that neon color it's so so very very rich color wise beautiful and three like i said three huge spikes i love it and this one is still in bloom i think this is the third time we see it in a blooming update same spikes they start to get a little bit less deep color wise but still beautiful i think this is the puff 58 dendrobium puff 58 and then we have the uh polar fire also a fairly beautiful spike so those are doing well the phenolopsis the dendrobium phenolopsis do really do like this uh, warmer weather as you can see this one had never gave such a beautiful spike this is the anna green splash so that's for the next video but it never was as big as that one so the snow jade we have up here also still uh, happily blooming few are going over as we can see but still quite some uh, beautiful blooms there and next to this uh, underneath the beauty we have this one the spring eclipse also still in bloom very very beautiful i think then over here let me turn out the ventilator we have this one it's a bit strange shape i must admit with these i think it's a sepal petals and sepals are always they confuse me a little bit but uh, it's bending backwards i don't know why and uh, to be honest i'm not really enjoying it i would prefer to have it a little bit more upwards like this one or like this but uh yeah, sadly it doesn't do that. Bialara Ferrero. So this is the Bialara Ferrero. So yeah, nice, but not my favorite, I must admit. Uh, let me see. Yes, then we have this one. This is the, on the text says Eternal Wind. I'm not sure, but this first bloom is is the biggest, is the largest, as you can see. Very, very beautiful. The spider orchid first time bloomer for me and i think for the orchid as well it's not a big one it was a freebie with one of the others i don't remember which one but i think it's beautiful very beautiful shape blooms next to it we have also a brushia type let me see if i can i hope you can see it it's on the top shelf, so it's hard to reach, but it has a beautiful spike and it's making another one. And we have more to come. As you can see, we have a spike there, almost touching the roof, and another one coming there. And then Miltonias, these are not in bloom yet, so they will be in the next one. But we have one here. And this is a cross. It's this one. Bluety cross with uh, Mariana. Blunt, blunty, blutney. I'm not, <laughs> not sure how to pronounce it. But this one, I think those are the petals. Let me uh, turn this around a little bit. It's a bit, it should be shaped like this. You can see it's a, it's a very odd shape. These pen pointy things over there. It did do that uh, last year, so I'm not sure what's, what's going wrong. But, but the rest of the color wise, it's beautiful. But the sepals aren't uh, like I said as they should be but maybe this one is uh, going to be better because I believe I remember correctly it wasn't shaped like that then we have this beautiful big one over here beautiful purple flowers I think it's a cross between a Miltonia and a Grossia type something like that actually i do have a tag somewhere well it's hidden somewhere but if you really want to know please let me know i can give you the name for this one it's a cross 
yeah which one isn't <laughs> I know but I, I don't do not remember the two names on top of my head but it even has a spike over here so as you can see it's a fairly big one and it has a spike over there <laughs> so one two three four five six spikes seven number seven is coming over there so that one is really enjoying a uh, life over here then we have this miltonia um ragnellii it's a ragnellii form and has quite a few spikes but not as much as last year last year it had i think at the end 20 22 spikes but well, still as you can see it has more but i did have a repot on it I did have to repot it, but um, we have more blooms over here. It's easier to see, but it didn't take it as well. Not bad, but I think it uh, did take some energy. But I wanted to keep it as one plant, so I had to come up with quite a big uh, pot for it. <laughs> so that's uh, the Ragnellii. A Sherry Baby over here. It is almost done with these spikes. The colors are starting to fade, but it has this spike here, so it was touching the roof. I saw this this morning, so I had to put it over here because the spike, uh, like I said, it was a little bit uh, stuck. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't break it. And then, you guys, do you already see it? This is a newbie. This is a first time bloomer for me. Miltonia Flavesens. What a beauty, if you ask me. Two spikes there, and we have another two to come. So four spikes at least. Beautiful. I really, really love this one. I really love yellow, white, and red. So, and this one has it all. As you can see in its lip, it may look a little bit purple, but in real life, it's a little bit more red. I cannot really see it on the screen of my camera how it, it does pick up, but it's more like a dark, dark red, reddish color. Beautiful. Yeah, that one is really a big favorite. <laughs> I love it. And then over here, over a year now, but my Sotuanum is back in bloom. Isn't it beautiful? Very lovely fragrance as well. And we have, well, quite some spikes there and there in the back as you can see there and in the front here very big one this one is the first one to open up so quite some blooms there over here we have another miltonia two spikes as you can see this is the festiva miltonia festiva and i learned from todd Top tropicals and and more that this one has the tendency to put uh, the flowers uh, to open them up very close to one another so yeah that's a little bit of a downside so it's not really only my plant who is doing that but it's a uh, trait of this miltonia type miltonia festiva it seems to do that but still the blooms are beautiful i think next to it katrina zak still in bloom this one blooms for a fairly long time you can see quite some blooms over there oops my mic yeah this one is very strong fragrance has a very strong face i don't not typically like it it's okay but if you're very sensitive to fragrance i probably shouldn't take this one but if you don't mind, this one can really fill up a room. No problem. And up above this one, look at this. <laughs> the sea breeze, Miltonia sea breeze. A what a blooms. Look at this. And look behind that, we have even more. <laughs> Let me put that leaf aside. I hope you can leave, I'm sorry look at that what a spikes we have and so many blooms so beautiful so it's a very nice colored bloom 
But as you can see, if I go on a little bit back, how many blooms? Beautiful. And then over here we have this one. This one was last year I had it was a first time bloomer, so this is the second time. It's such a delicate little bloom, and the colors are so pastel colors, very soft colors. It is an absolute beauty. And it has four spikes, as you can see. And I have a tag for this. Ringonia Oceari Alba. So yeah. But yeah, really, really, really beautiful. Like I said, very soft colors. A soft fragrance as well. Not overpowering. And then above that one we have the two sisters, Morodiana, Spectabilis. Look at that. That one on the right is just starting to open up her flowers. This one was a bit earlier and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I never had so many blooms on this one. Isn't that beautiful? 13, I believe, in the back, another one. Absolutely stunning. I can watch this all day, you guys. It's so beautiful. Like I said, it's Miltonia season. <laughs> and we have even more to come. First time bloomers as well. I'm lo really looking forward to those as well. But yeah, isn't this beautiful? even more once it was one plant but now they are really big on their own again <laughs> probably should divide them somewhere this year next year not sure yet but. so yeah a heck of a lot of blooms isn't it stunning it's so really i really love this time of year all those beautiful blooms so beautiful so yeah I think let me check we didn't miss anything I think no <laughs> so yeah quite some blooms you guys I'm really really happy with them and I really enjoy those very very big long spikes fairly big blooms I really love it <laughs> oh we have one down here so you see I always forget it's the rainbow dance it's still blooming it's putting up new buds and it keeps on blooming and blooming and blooming <laughs> the rest is all starting to grow the dendrobium nobly type so this one is uh, growing and blooming <laughs> but we don't mind obviously so yeah this was uh, the update for uh, july i think it uh, was a very great one i hope you enjoyed it as well please let me know in the comments and of course if you have any questions about the names or anything about the orchids if i miss some please let me know i'm happy to help uh, help you and to let you know which one uh, is which if i have a name so um once again thank you for watching and i really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos bye bye